you know, you just gotta be bold. You gotta take chances, because if you don't, you end up making the same old thing again and again. With Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. Unless you are living under a rock, you might know that the movie Malignant has become one of the topics ever since it was released. It is because of its mixed reviews. While some people think it's the scariest movie with an amazing storyline, others find it complex and confusing. Here is Was Malignant a Flop? Number 4. Malignant I'm having visions. You won't believe it. It is not a common practice that when the trailer of the movie releases, the interview of the director is held instead of the actors. But it is also not common that the director is seen as the biggest selling point of the movie, and not the storyline or the actors. James Wan is the mastermind behind one of the most hyped movies, Malignant. The director is famous in the audience due to his previous hits such as Insidious and The Conjuring. Each of these films skyrocketed the trend of horror films in the industry. They later became a huge success in the box office and major franchises. Malignant was assumed to be the next big hit of the director, and people had high hopes from the movie, considering the previous hits of the director. Number 3. Promotion James is in one of the bravest points in his career. The movie Malignant stars Annabelle Wallace. Wallace is the main character of the movie, and she is shown as the mummy. The girl is shown with a violent vision that is related to her past. She used to have an imaginary friend, Gabriel, in the past. It is the glimpse shown in the trailer of the movie, and people were excited to see the whole movie. Without any doubt, the trailer of the movie was very promising. One of the smartest moves the team has played is to use Juan for the promotion of the movie. The guy is currently working on the movies Furious 7 and Aquaman, and the audiences have a lot of expectations with both of the movies. Juan has become so famous that whenever people see his name in the list of credits, they assume the movie is a blockbuster. Therefore, Juan used his fan following to promote the movie. After looking at the second half of the trailer, which has overhead gunshots and some amazing camera moves, people expected the same. Number 2. Comeback This movie is a larger than life story to be enjoyed on the big screen. Hello? This is surprising. According to one of the media reporters, Juan's comeback to horror films seems to be the first certified US horror film to be distributed in China, premiering on Chinese streaming platforms. Moreover, it won't be released on any other day, but it will be released on the same day it is released in the US. According to THR, Malignant is thought to be the first US horror film that will be distributed in China, where such film is rarely able to pass the regulations. Scary films, such as Paramount's A Quiet Place trilogy, have rarely been released in China, although they have always been rated PG-13. Starlight, which is one of the media channels, claims to have worked closely with Wan to make a few smart edits to the picture that permitted it to be released in China. THR further added, Malignant will stream via the streaming services of six major internet firms and telecommunications, including iQIYI, Huawei, China Mobile, China Unicom, China Telecom, and China Broadcast Network. Number 1. Reviews Malignant is the most recent horror movie of Warner Brothers to reach theaters and HBO Max at the same time. Since other movies performed exceptionally well at the box office, people had high hopes for this. For example, Wonder Woman 1984 was the first of eight films to premiere in December and got excellent reviews, but James Wan's Malignant is performing far better than The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Early estimates put the bizarre horror film in with a chance of hitting double digits in its first week. However, there is a piece of bad news. The figures dropped down on Friday. It has been reduced to a modest $5 million, according to Variety. Malignant gained a lot of attention from the audience when it was released. Therefore, the cinema was packed with the audience when the movie was released. The third part of the movie was the most intriguing to the audience, as there was twist after twist. However, the twist after twist was confusing to some. It wasn't an easy subject in the first place for the company to publicize because even mentioning the narrative would give too much away. The fact is that the movie could not connect well with the audience. While we can usually count on HBO Max to bring in the huge money, Malignant split audiences with 59% positive and 38% negative ratings. Most critics gave the film a 77% fresh Rotten Tomatoes score, but the plot was complex for the audience. 
According to the Associated Press, Lindsay Barr, if you go out to see the movie, Malignant, a theater might be your best choice. That way, at the very least, you may giggle along in total amazement with your other moviegoers. She labeled the wand-directed picture a thanklessly humorless and outrageously brutal film that fails to portray any form of real feeling or make any significant insights about trauma. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.